no reason. We're going to pull that tooth whether you like it or not. <laughs> For a feather called reasoning bait, you are the most unreasonable bird I've ever seen. Mm. Open your mouth. Mm. Hold his nose like you would a bro. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's first me worse than it does you. Yeah. Let's see that tooth. Oh. Ow! <laughs> Let me at him. Wait, wait, hold on there, sir. If you bite my fingers, I'll put you out of the gun butt. Wait a minute. Wait. Uh, hold him, boys. Hold him. Hold him tight now. Hold him. Hold him. That's it. Hold him. Give it a hold. Ah. All right. Just a minute. Are you ready? Okay. Let her go. over 2,000 miles, Della. Mariana, Arizona. That must be as far west as Indiana. It's a little further than that. Do you know what this is? No, ma'am. It's a deed. This piece of paper means that I now own a home of my own. My very own. There ain't many brothers that make a sister a present like that. No, there's not. Well, guess that's about everything. Well, we'll go inside and finish packing the bags. Yes, ma'am. Hello, sis. Hello, Eddie. Do you mind? No. Give me apartment 311, please. Listen, Grant. Right. Grant, I can't go through with this. Oh, yes, you will. I tell you, I can't. But you will. I'm coming up. If you're smart, you won't live till I get there. I tell you, I... What's the matter? What are you so upset about? Nerves. I think today with a lot of money on her nose. It's enough to make me nervous, don't you think? I wish you'd go with me, Eddie. I'm afraid to leave you here the way you're going. Well, stop squawking. I'm getting you out of it, ain't I? Yes, and I appreciate you making it possible, but... Oh, well, you got a funny way of showing it. Yelling at me the way you're doing. But the crowd you're running around with. They're my crowd, ain't they? Now listen, sis. I'm doing all right and you're doing all right. I'm getting the jack. That's the important thing. But how are you getting it? By being smart. It's the only way to get money in this town. But how? By laying my good dough on the line and collecting from the bookies. You can't win always. Well, then I'll get it some other way. And that'll be up to me, too. Now lay off, will you, sis? All right. I'm through trying to advise you. And that'll be swell. Now I'll call a cab. I've ordered one. It'll be here in just a few minutes. Oh, hello, Mr. Grant. How do you do, Miss Shea? Hello, Eddie. Hello. I took the liberty of hoping you might accept a little going away present. Oh, thank you. Now, if you don't mind, I'll finish packing. Not at all. Listen, Grant. So you thought you were going to write out on me, huh? Well, it goes through as we planned. Did you put the money in the trunk? No. Where is it? I've got it right here. Give it to me.
Nothing like a long trip to cool off hot money. And nothing like going through with the job once you get started. I'm afraid, Grant. I got a hunch we're wrong. I haven't. It goes just as it lays. Now, when your sister comes back into this room, tip her off if you think it's wise. Right now, only you and I know the dough is in this trunk. When she comes in, crack to her. And it'll be just too bad for the both of you. Bonnie, taxi's here. I'm ready. Close the truck and I'll be right out. There it is, boys. I'm going to miss you, Eddie. Well, I'll see you in about three months. I hope so. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Grant. Goodbye, Miss Shea. Pleasant trip. Thank you. Take care of yourself. You didn't have the nerve to tell her, did you? No. I... No, you want to play the racket, get yours. Nobody's and... getting away with this racket today. We have so far. But suppose they catch us. They won't catch us, not with the dough in that trunk. I know a couple of guys who got life for doing this. Uh, they might even burn us. Ah, you're just yellow. Maybe I should save you from burning by uh, knocking you off myself. No, no, don't. Why, you lily livered rat. Hello, Joe. How are you, Dan? Any mail? Sure. Thanks, Joe. Reasoning. Come here. <laughs> Boys are doing all right. Yeah, read that. You hurt worse than your toothache. Since that rain sold? Yeah, and to a stranger. Are you on the level? There it is, black and white. Direct from the bank, too. New owner arrives on the 15th. Well, that's today. We all thought that you and Dan here was fixing to buy it. Yeah, we was, Freddy. Dan and me figured on having enough in the next year to make a down payment. Ah, oh, well, there's other ranches. Yeah, there are other ranches, but there ain't no other Sunset Range. Gee, <laughs> you're right, Dan. We wasn't only figuring on buying a ranch. We was figuring on buying a home. Doggone. Us boys always figured we was working for you and Dan. Yeah. Now we'll all be working for a stranger. Well, there ain't nothing we can do about it except to meet this stranger. And reason, that's your job. And you can figure out your own particular welcome. Say, you know, that guy would be surprised if he got a good bust in the jaw. Well, that'd lose us all our job. I don't care. It'd satisfy my feelings. Tight rain, son. Tight rain. Now, you better take the flivver and run down to the station and meet him. And we'll go on out and kind of straighten things up a bit. Say, he must be a funny hombre. By a ranch sight and on scene. You know, I got a hunch I ain't gonna like that guy, and I'll tell you the reason why. I just traded a toothache for a good headache, and he's the cause of it.
where the Sunset Range is. Hmm, seems to me I've heard of it. Well, is it very far? Well, the tame. Well, that's definite. At least, will you take me there? Hmm, generous, too. Yeah, climb in. Well, uh, would it be putting you out very much if you help me with my bag? No, wouldn't. You could always win me like this out here. We won't mention that. Anyway, I can thank you for the lift. I'm lucky. Hey, so am I. The geezer I was supposed to meet here didn't arrive. You mean you're from the Sunset Range? That's right. And you came to meet a geezer? Right again. That must be me. Oh, no, ma'am. The gazebo I come to meet is the new owner of the ranch. That's still me. You? The new owner? That's right. I'm the geezer and the gazebo you came to meet. Sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't. Do you work at the Sunset Range? Yes, sir. What do you do? Punch cows. Oh, really? How long have you been punching cows? Ever since I've been able to punch. What do the cows ever do to you to make you mad at them? Mad at them? Uh-huh. So you wanted to punch them? Lady. Woo! Oh. Are they any different from ordinary cows? Well, yes. You see, we breed them out here to graze on the side of a mountain. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. They're a special kind. Legs shorter on one side and on the other. Honest? Mm-hmm. Now, those cattle would starve to death on level ground. I'll tell you the reason why. Why? Well, you take on an elevation. Shorter legs help to propel them. Longer legs, helping to cling on. You know, nature's provision. Why, do you know that if those cattle grazed on flat ground, they'd fall over and die? Dan, that's Miss Shea, new owner. Dan, here's our superintendent. How do you do? How do you do? We really wasn't expecting a lady, or we'd have had the place a little trimmer for you. Oh, it's all wonderful to me. I do hope my being a girl isn't going to make any difference. Any difference you make, miss, will be a change for the better. Thank you. Lee Fong here will uh, show you to your room. Yeah. Oh, uh, Lee Fong's a Chinaman. Yeah. I expect you will want to freshen yourself up a little before supper. Oh, uh, boys. I'd like to have you meet the new owner of the Sunset Range. How do you do? Supper and catfish, boys. It's a heifer. <laughs> you don't like women, do you? I didn't say so. Maybe I'm a mind reader. <laughs> Women are always something they shouldn't be. Well, how can you tell until you know them? Maybe I don't want to know them. Oh, so you don't like them. 
No, I don't. And I'll tell you the reason why. That's what I want to know. Why? That's why. They're always asking questions. I like steers better. When you rope them and tie them, they stayed tied. Not always walking in on you at the wrong time. Did I walk in on you at the wrong time? Yes, you did. And I'll tell you the reason why. Suppose I'm not interested. Then you'll never know. I like gentlemen. Why? They sometimes shave. Whoa. Hey, hand down that towel, will you? Hey, where's our toothbrush? Got it. Just a minute. Now, since when did you birds start dressing for supper? Since about an hour ago. And she's a good reason why. Just the boys coming in for supper. Oh. Come on. I want you to meet him personal. I'd like to. Miss Shea, this is George Sowers, one of the best crapshooters in the valley. Howdy. Howdy. And this is Teddy. Teddy ain't got no last name. For the first time, I'm admitting it. It's Dove. <laughs> Teddy Dove. That's nice. I like it. Suits you. <laughs> and this is Pa Jones. Pleased to meet you, miss. How do you do? If there's anyone in this bunch you don't like, just yelp up, and I'll bust them right in the nose. We sure will. And this is Lem Sowers, brother to George. I'm pleased to. Are you really? Really. And this is Bill Hickey. Hello, Bill. What's obliged? <laughs> and this is Goober Glenn. Are you flowers, Steve? Why, thank you. They're lovely. I'm thoughtful that way. And this is Bill Gillis. I'm right sorry, Miss, for calling you a heifer this afternoon. That's all right, Bill. Howdy. Howdy. Come on, boys, let's all sit down. Oh, and this is Lee Fong, our cook. Lee Fong, this is Miss Shea. Just a minute, Lee, just a minute. Well, what he's trying to say is that he's very glad you're here and hopes you will like his food. Isn't that right, Lee? Most assuredly. Mr. Caswell, why is it that Mr. Bates seems to resent me so much? Oh, it ain't you in particular. It's any woman, especially in coming out here and taking over the ranch. He'd never admit this, too, but he sort of wanted to make a real home out of it. Well, it's nice to know there's something human about him, even though I'd never admit that to him. Well, boys, here I am, your new boss, out in a strange land and surrounded by new faces. The first thing I want to do is make a few changes. Well, now, don't be alarmed. Not in the personnel. What does that mean? Shh. 
No, nothing like that. What I want to do is make a real home out of this. And I want you all to help me. Will you? Sure. 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 Well, man, sure we Thanks. Will. Okay, let's eat. Haven't you noticed any changes around here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're wearing pants now. We'll ride in a half hour, please. Whatever you say. You mean you don't care to? Oh, not in particular. Here it is. Oh, it's wonderful. I knew that was the way cowboys should look. But now the thing is to get them to wear them. You mean they won't want to? Yeah, but I've got an idea. Why? Well, all the boys around here just think the world of re Anything he says or does is all right. Now, if you could get him to wear these first, we could put it over. It's difficult, but it's worth a try. What do you say? Of course. Get reasoning in here, will you? Will I? <laughs> you bet I will. <laughs> Hey, Dan. Look at him Flip me ten, will you? Six. Six. Nope. Huh? What do you mean, tell me? You haven't got ten? That ain't the idea. Look, I'll tell you. You slip me five, I'll make you ten. Huh? Nope. We agreed there'd be no more gambling. Yeah, I know, but I feel lucky today. Yeah, you felt that way the last time and lost your shirt. But, but I know this is my lucky day. I'm sent out here to send you into Bonnie. What about? I don't know. She's the boss. Better get in there. Yeah, all right. Do something for me? Can you stand a surprise? And how? I'm used to them. All for you. For what? To wear. Not me. Why not? Are you serious? I certainly am. Nothing doing. You'll wear them. Nothing doing. What's the matter with them? They're funny. I don't think so. I know. What you want's a movie actor. That's all they're good for. You're ridiculous. I would be wearing those. The boys that laugh me off the place. I'm ordering you to wear them. I'm refusing. I'm the boss. And I'm quitting. You mean that? I certainly do. It didn't work. Uh -huh. So I see. He quit. Yeah. We can't have that. No. What'll I do? Keep him here. How? Let me think. You leave it to me. But he mustn't leave here. Don't worry, he won't. You come with me. 
rest of the game? No, I guess you've got it all. Can I get in? An honor. Any part of it. No, not you. You're too lucky. How about you? You're on. How much? That's up to you. Let me see the cash. Can I put it up? All in pay. Shoot. Oh, well. 30 days. Well, what do you say? What a ride. A letter. 60 days. Well, what do you say? Double or nothing. It's a vet. Another sale. Take a look at that. That's four months' pay, right? Right. Well, as much as you hate it, you'll have to stay around for four months. That's what the dice read. And you'll stay? I don't ever remember Welchin. I believe you. Can you imagine that? She made natural passes. Thanks, Lee Fong. They worked fine. And that's two people around here I'll never shoot crap with again. Who's the other one? Have you forgotten the time Lee Fong pulled those loaded dice on me? Oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> I should say that. Four months' pay. One of you hyenas at crack. I'm gonna shoot your boot heels off. Wahoo! Who did that? Now get this. I'm gonna be wearing this eye filling outfit for a long time. And the first one of you birds I hear a burp on. Now look, I told you, I I'm telling you now, don't do it anymore because I I well, anyway, that's the reason why. Why reasoning? You look perfectly wonderful. Turn around and let me see. I like that. I was right, wasn't I? No, you wasn't. But I didn't welch, did I? I still like it. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, wait a minute! What does it mean? That means I think you look very cute. Good morning, reasoning. Good morning. Know what day this is? Friday. On the first of the month. Your four months are up. You're a free man. Uh-huh. You can go now if you want to. Uh-huh. Do you want to? Uh-uh. What are you laughing at? I ain't laughing. I bet I can make you laugh out loud. What do you bet? There's a dance at Jackson's Bar in Mariana tomorrow night. If I could make you laugh out loud, you take me. Don't dance. Oh, that's all right. I like strong, silent men that don't dance. All right. Go ahead and make me laugh. And it's a bet. What if I win? Then you don't have to take me. After all, I'm still your boss. It's a bet.
Get ready. How about those mountain cattle? The ones that graze on the sides of mountains and have legs shorter on one side than they have on the other? <laughs> Good time? Tonight? Yeah. It's been great. You like Arizona? I love it. I've been happier here than I've ever been in all my life. You mean you you don't want to go back to Chicago, see your family, old friends? I have no family except my brother. You ought to be out here pretty soon. Say, that was the kind of a cute game we played yesterday. What game? You know, the, the one where you made me laugh. And I did. Here we are. Want to play it again? Here, now. Sure. I bet you I can make you laugh. Out loud? Out loud. And if I make up my mind not to? Yeah, whether you want to or not. It's a bet. And if I win? Well, then you call your forfeit. Suppose I lose. Then I'll call mine. It's a bargain. All right. Get ready. Bonnie, aren't you just a little bit ashamed the way you use Lee Fong's loaded dice? <laughs> <laughs> I win. Well. <laughs> How did your play? Is he all right? Yes, he's all right, but he's, uh, well, kind of anxious to see you. But he is all right. I advise you to get out there right away. What are you afraid to tell me? We let him tell you that. We'll go right away. Oh, your cowboy friend seems concerned. I don't want him to know where we're going. I'm thinking only of Eddie. Reasoner, this is Mr. Grant. How do you do, Mr. Uh, Bates? Glad to know you. Yeah, me too. Uh, shall we finish the dance? I'm sorry, I can't. I have to leave. You see, Mr. Grant and I are... Old friends, Mr. Bates. You don't understand how that is. Sure, I understand. Reasoner, I'm sorry to spoil your evening. Ah, uh, don't mind me. But if you want anything... Not a thing. Shall we go? Yes. I'll meet you outside in just a few minutes. these men. Eddie's inside. Eddie, stop. Oh, gee, it's good to see you. I'm all right, sis. I'm all right. Grant frightened me. He said that... Do anything he says, Bonnie. Anything. Where's the chink? In his bunk. Tied up. Who 
What's wrong? What is it? Tell her anything? No. All right, the first thing we want is your trunk. Where is it? What is this? You'll find out when we open the trunk. Where is it? Go on, you'd better tell him. It's in that closet. What a hiding place. What is it? One hundred thousand dollars. Hold up money. Hold up money? Yes. Remember the National Bank stick up? This is the payoff on your first job. Mine? Sure. You brought it out here, didn't you? What are you driving at? Of course, you didn't know. But the federal officers would never believe that. They that way. And you did this to me? I didn't want How to. How could you? He lost his nerve that day you were packing in New York. But I didn't. So we're all in together. Just think. A hundred grand and no good for at least a year. A list of serial numbers is in every cash register in the country. Tate, get out of here. Get out! No, this is hot money. What are you going to do about it? I'm not going to do anything. But you are. You're going to get me some clean money, and then we'll go. How much? How much can you get? No. Oh. There's 40,000 in this shack. I know that. To raise 10 grand on it. It's impossible. Less than five is no good. I might be able to get that. Get it or else. How soon? By 11 in the morning. All right, now get out. Listen, you, I'm doing the talking, not you. Come on. Ain't you getting kind of tough? Suppose I am. Well, I don't like it. Now, what do you suggest? Please, reasoning. Everything's all right, really. I want you to meet my brother, Eddie. Yeah, glad to know you. Same here. You sure everything's all right? Positive. Okay. Adios. Wait here just a moment. Oh, Reasonin. Would you like to buy the ranch? I might. Have you $5,000? Dan and me's just about got that between us. I need it if you can give me that. Well, it's yours for the asking. You don't know what this means to me. You want to tell me? It's a debt I owe. Grant? Okay. Meet him tomorrow at 11 at Jackson's Bar. What is this, anyway? It's for Eddie. Oh. Good enough. Good night. Good night, Reasoner. Say, let me punch that guy in the nose. Just one. Oh, no, Reasoner. No, no. Good night. Mr. Bates, I'll give you the money at 11 tomorrow. Meet him at Jackson's Bar. Hmm. Good work. On one condition. Eddie stays here. Money on the line in the morning. Then Eddie stays. Tonight, no. Come on, we're leaving. Good. Good night, Eddie. Let's have a drink. Well, gentlemen, it's a pleasure to do business with businessmen. Not drinking. Well, how about you? Well, here's to us. Let's have a couple of good cigars. Anyway, gentlemen, it's nice to have seen you. Good day. What's up? Three federal dicks left Bedford two hours ago, headed this way. We got a duck. All right, come on. Well, I figured I was safe last night when I declared you in on that 5,000. Well, if you hadn't, I'd have knocked your block off. Have a drink. Not drinking. Of. 
have, and you can stay here and start all over. Oh, you've certainly been regular, sis. It's all I ask you to be from now on. Well, you don't have to worry about that either. <laughs> Keep your motors running. All right, get in the car. We're leaving. He'll do nothing of the kind. He stays here. No, he's going with me, and so are you. What? You don't suppose I'm going to leave you here with all you know, do you? Why, you... Listen, Grant. You've gotten away with a lot of things, but not this. Eddie! Eddie. All right, grab her, Regan. Hurry up. Help me, Eddie! All right, let's go. Follow me and keep your eyes Jackson's bar? Get me Mr. Bates. Just a moment, please. Oh, reasoning? Yeah. You're wanted on the phone. Thanks. Hello? Hello, Bates. This is Eddie Shea. I'm at the ranch. Grant and his gang have just taken Bonnie. What? Which way are they headed? They've just left. Headed for Kingman. Be careful. They're well loaded. Holy smoke! Come on, boys! We're heading for trouble. Hey, Joe! Come on. What's the matter? Get your rifles and hurry! Give the boys all the 30-30 shells you've got. What's wrong? The ranch, Dan. They grabbed Bonnie and headed for Kingman. We'll cut Deep Canyon. Cut them off at the bridge. Watch your step, boys, because they're well loaded. Come on! Deep Canyon beat him to the tree. Sure, we're ahead of them. Dead sure. They had three times as far to go as we did, so they won't be along for a while yet. All right, boys, get busy. Where's the act? I have it. Now be sure and stop that second car. Spread your men on both sides of the road, and when they come through, let them have it. How about that first car? Don't worry about that. Let them go through. I'll handle them. Say, don't you want a couple of us to go with you? No, that's a one-man job. And that's going to be a lot of fun. Tie the horses down the road a piece and hurry back with that rope. Ooh.
嘛？唔知啊。先生啊，今時冇事幹啦，而家你啲狂人又去曬啦，你冇事幹啦，司徒婆又好而家啦，先冇事幹啦。Wait a minute, wait a minute. Now cut that lingo and tell me what you're trying to say, or I'll choke you with my one good arm. What I'm trying to tell you, Mr. Dan, is that Miss Bonnie's brother is doing nicely. In fact, everything is hunky dory again. Yeah, Lee. Everything is hunky dory again. But it might not have been if I had been hit here instead of here. Mr. Raising was hit here. What? Sure, right here. See? Everything is hunky donkey with him, too. <laughs> <laughs> and when did you first decide you liked me? Well, I tell you, it was that night at the dance. And I'll tell you the reason why. I was standing. <laughs> 